Green Beanie, the gnarliest cooking vlog around, still counting, and on week 14. So on this super gnarly 14th week of this very awesome show, I'm showing some super awesome ratatouille with some lean pork loin stuff. I know I said I do them separately, but I decided I'd show you how to get them both hot and ready at the same time because they go awesome together. But the pork needs to start marinating a long time before you start, so I'll take a time machine back a few hours to show you what I did. Okay, so cut off all the fat if you care about this stuff, and then you cut it into four ounce pieces. So this is one and a quarter pound, so that'll be cut into five pieces. Yeah. Then wash your hands to stop dead pig juices from getting everywhere. Wash. Now you get out a small bowl and lots of garlic and rosemary. Um, then you take some, well then you take a lot, like this much or something, of each, and then you mix it. Mix it like it was something that needed a lot of mixing. Now imagine this pig is what caused there to be no snow in the mountains. So then you, you poke it with a knife, but don't, don't obliterate it. Just kind of poke it or like score it, I guess. Yeah. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Bad piggy! Why no snow? Piggy, piggy, why? So then you make sure you cover every single piece with the garlic and rosemary stuff. Then you put it all in cling film and like wrap it up like it was something that needed a lot of wrapping. Then you have to put it in the fridge and let it sit and do nothing for two hours or more. Kind of like me in the summer. Mm. Let it sit for up to a day. Don't let it sit for a week. Okay, now back to the time machine. <laughs> Whoa, 2012, so futuristic. Anyway, now for the boring, tedious part. You gotta cut up, like, uh, for four people, you gotta cut up this much zucchini, too small, I'm, this is an eggplant, not a zucchini. This much zucchini, this much eggplant, and one pepper. And you also need an onion and some tomatoes, but you'll need that later. So, you got to cut them into pieces. Nah. Pieces kinda like this, but you gotta cut it up like a boss. Nah. So once you've got them cut up into pieces like this, so you've got the pepper and the zucchini and the eggplant, then you spray spray oil, a little, just a little bit of spray oil on it so it's all covered. And then, once you've done that, um, you turn on the stove to like medium high-ish. And when you're waiting for it to warm up, you can cut up one onion, like a boss. Now the stove is heated up, you add the onions and a little bit of garlic and you caramelize it for a few minutes. Whee! A few minutes later. <laughs> now that it's been a few minutes, you have to add your these vegetables. Yeah. And then you um you kind of brown them for another five minutes. <laughs> a few minutes later. <laughs> so once it's like browned a little, you have to add a lot of well not too much, but you have to add some rosemary, and then you turn the stove down to like medium lowish, and then you cover it. For 20 minutes. <laughs> Usually I'd go and kill time by doing something weird, but this time I have my time machine, so I guess I'll just go ahead and time 20 minutes. Awesome, so it's 20 minutes later, and um, actually in those 20 minutes you should have cut up the tomatoes, because now you have to add those three tomatoes. So yeah, add them. Whee. So you mix it around a little, and then you have to start the pork, which takes 10 to 15 minutes. So turn the other stove on, and wait for it to warm up. Now test the temperature of the pan with the banana. Ah! If the banana screams, then it's hot enough. So then it's really, really complicated. You gotta put the pork on here. So pretty much, you um, this takes like 15 minutes or 10 minutes. You want to cook it until there's no like pink parts in the middle, and you have to turn it around occasionally. And remember, you still have this going, so you want to mix this occasionally too for the next 15 minutes, and then you can serve it like a boss. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Okay, so when you finally serve the pork and the ratatouille and stuff, you cut the pork up into kind of slices like this, and then you pour a little bit of balsamic vinegar over. We 
and serve it like a boss with some kind of herb on top because you know that makes with boss. So yeah, again, like at the end of every other TGB episode, I say something like healthy, gnarly, awesome recipe, but hey, it's just the truth. But whoa. What the? Whoa, where did you come from? I'm a time paradox. So I guess we finished the conclusion together then. Sure, I guess so. Sounds pretty gnarly. So, make sure that you subscribe to the Green Beanie. The only cooking channel with a time paradox. Or something like that. Oh yeah, the gnarliest cooking vlog around. So stick around for next week. I'm doing like chicken with um, something else. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, chicken. Everyone likes chicken. But bye for now.